Hello everybody and welcome back for the walkthrough of part 10 episode 2. So as you can see here we're back on the streets of Aislung in the residential district and I'm just going to take you here a little bit to the right here. You can see this is the house where we finished off on uh, and you can see here I, I really decorated everything for you. Uh, I tried to make it look very lively, uh, very much like a city. Look we actually actually uh, added in a bathroom. <laughs> it's uh, the second one in the entire city. Uh, when I was streaming the other day um, I realized that we don't really have any bathrooms in Aislung, which is kind of a problem, but we'll take care of that at a later date. Uh, what I want to show you here is, of course, the first house. Now, the majority of this walkthrough is going to be nothing but houses. Now, there is going to be one tavern, uh, which is really cool and very large, uh, and I think it came through really, really well. But in this first house, you can see here we have the kitchen area. It's very small, got lots of arches, you know, kind of a cramped area. But you can see right out the window there, it's a very gorgeous view. Uh, we have the, you know, eating area right there, uh, which I really thought came out really nice. It's almost like a little, uh, you know, a nook and a cranny type of thing, but it came out really well. Uh, we're going to go up now to the second story. And this only has two bedrooms uh, and a narrow hallway, but each bedroom is, you know, a decent size. Here we have one bed, a couple dressers. You're going to have to climb in past that dresser to get in, but it still, you know, looks and comes across uh, okay in design. Here we have a chest, a mirror. We have a, some fancier dressers, you know, things like that, a small little bookcase, just a little something. Now, this would be mainly for, um, you know, like a single parent or something like that, uh, maybe a widow who's lost their uh, husband, you know, to the war effort or things like that. Um, you know, there's there's tons of possibilities you can put in for it. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're just going to go to this crazy little diamond-shaped house, uh, which was really fun to work in. Uh, but you can see here, right when you walk in, you have the dining slash living space. Uh, it comes across really cool. I, I like how it... Um, I tried to add the walls and everything to make these rooms have more of a rectangular feel than a full-on diagonal. But this kitchen you can see is heavily detailed. We have two furnaces, a cauldron, we have cheese, we have herbs, we have, you know, tons of cabinets and things like that just to kind of add to it and, and really make it stand out. Um, over here to the left, which I thought was really cool, I did like this weird kind of recessed jutting out library bookcase kind of thing, I, I, you know. Uh, let me get rid of that torch. sorry about that. But uh, I thought that came out really cool. Ignore the bushes clipping through. Uh, and what we're going to do now is go up to the second story where the actual bedrooms are. So here you can see we have, uh, as, as soon as you come up the stairs, a small little walking area. Um, this is um, the way to balcony number one. And you can go out and step out and look at people on the street and make fun of them because they're having to walk to their houses and you're already in yours, you know, sipping uh, some beer. Uh, <laughs> here we're going to go into the master bedroom and you can see this is very spacious, very large. Um, we have two beds of course. Uh, I don't typically put them together but in some cases I do. I just think it looks better when they're separate. But you can see we got a lot of shelving and bookcases, um, drawers, all that good stuff. A lot of these homes are going to have the same materials in them as I'm sure you know. Let me fix that. Sorry. Uh, but a lot of them are going to have the same type of materials because they're all in the uh, wealthier side of Aislung. This is not for the, um, you know, the poorer or less wealthy district. This is for those in the middle class, uh, maybe slightly above. But you can see here, I love the way this looks. I mean, all, all these roads and everything just kind of veer in different directions but they all culminate in, in one spot every time around buildings and stuff and it just it adds a little bit of a flow to the city uh which i thought came across really really well uh, but here we're going to go into another house here we have some steak hanging up you know it's cooking we have some raw meat chopped up on, on the counter um and then it's you know it's it's kind of like the kitchen as soon as you walk in it's just boom in your face and uh up here we're going to go up to the second story and you can see here we have some some um some clothing you know that's being washed um and we also have some food storage uh, and then this is just two very small simple bedrooms and i'm talking like simple very very tea tiny uh and, and just small i keep clipping on those sorry about that um but anyway both of the bedrooms are pretty much identical to each other there's nothing crazy to them uh this house i was kind of working on limited space after designing the bedrooms were an afterthought and it kind of shows yeah but 
you know, either way, it's, you know, we have two bedrooms. <laughs> That's more than most people can ask for. So on the second side of this very large building, uh, we're going to have another house. So this is kind of like a townhome in a way, but very spacious. So I love the way this, this kitchen came out. You know, we have the uh, shelving. We have the nice, you know, square dining room table that comes across really well. And then we have this awesome kitchen with plenty of storage, plenty of food, plenty of, you know, um, cabinets and, uh, you know, some bread right there. There, uh, hanging out on the shelf to uh, you know cool down and everything we have a small little storage area underneath the stairs there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the second story now this one consists of three bedrooms uh, so this is a wealthier family a little bit larger space to work with but as you can see here once again we have some shelving up top we have a beautiful picture hanging up over the bed we have a nice window you know we have it it all just kind of comes together um, in this build. This is um, thanks to Elandria, who is an amazing streamer. If you haven't checked her out, I'll put the link down below. And to all those who watched her in the stream, y'all all helped me out design this last building. I was completely stuck and I was able to, you know, get past that. And, and thanks to the ideas of everyone who was involved in the stream, I was able to finish this up this morning. Uh, and here we have a double bunk bed for the kiddos. You know, just have them a little room to play in. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to head on down and we are going to scope out the rest of this now. I know it's a lot to look at. I'm kind of going through it a little quickly, so I do apologize about that. But I am hope you still I hope you still get, you know, the atmosphere and the theme of, you know, what I was trying to build here. Um, this right here is a small little square, but we're going to ignore that for right now. And we're going to go into this last build on this side. Now, once again, you walk in, there's the kitchen in the dining area. Boom, it's right in your face. Um, but the one thing I like about this house that is a little bit different than all the other ones is that it has its own separate storage room and like a large storage room. You can see meats, you can see, you know, fruits, vegetables, flour, you know, um, coal, all that kind of stuff to feed the fireplace. You have all this kind of, uh, stuff by itself, which I thought was really cool to kind of separate it and let it have its own space. And then we're going to go up on once again to the second story and here we have just a small little hallway. We have a, a, a nice little relaxation area there. If you want to kind of get away and, and maybe write or study, you can do that. And then we're going to open up this bedroom. And you can see here, I did put the beds together on this one. Uh, but we have a nice, beautiful dresser. We have some curtains hanging up. And it just kind of gives it that color pop uh, that's always very vital in these kind of things. Um, oh, look, it actually has three bedrooms as well. <laughs> Totally forgot. Sorry. Uh, anyways, two beds on this one. And there we go. Dresser. Simple as that, right? And then we're going to go into this. And this, I call this the Harry Potter room. Like it's like a tiny little thing, not under the stairs, but it's very cramped and just kind of right there. The person wouldn't have a lot of room, but that'd mainly be for a small child because, um, you know, they don't always need a ton of room. It's best to, but either way. Um, so here we have once again the center here. Now, this is my. Fluff Fluffle stand, <laughs> whatever. Um, Hugo from um the channel and from Twitch was like, you got to build a stand, and I don't. I know I'm mispronouncing that, so I do apologize. But um, but there you go. I did make one, and it is there. Now this house I already built in a previous video. I honestly copy and pasted it in here to fill it in. Uh, I hope y'all don't mind that. So I'm not going to go into that one, but I will show you that little storage space. And this is going to be the tavern. Um, so we're going to go into this one here, as you can see the, you know, the roads are kind of cluttered up the walkways are busy and bustling. Um, uh, and this building is like massive. So we're going to get into that. So here you can see, we have a little bit of a dining area outside and then we're going to walk on in and right there. I mean, I love that view. You know, we have the chandeliers hanging up. We have the large stairway going up to the second story. We have tons of tables, tons of goods behind the counter. I mean, this is like, after you've worked all day, this is going to be the place you're going to want to be um, to just kind of hang out and relax and decompress and get drunk. I mean, you know, and just enjoy yourself. Uh, and that's what this, this tavern, I tried to give it that feel to be, you know, what it's all about. Um, and what we're going to do here is now we're going to, once again, go up to the second story and we have some rooms available. So this is one and it's actually pretty decent. It's a good size. It's got a beautiful, uh, window there. Um, it has a bookcase, you know, some drawers, just things like that. Just simple stuff. 
Um, this room is a little bit smaller, but it still d works the magic and it still works. Uh, obviously, you would only really need these, especially if like you just sailed and you just need to hang out for a night or two um, and just kind of recharge your batteries. This is where you'd want to go. Um, up here, we have another small bedroom. Nothing big. And once again, going up to the third story, we actually have a small study area. Now, this would be for the employees or the owner of the inn or tavern to, um, you know, maybe maybe get away from the crowd, maybe just relax for a little bit. And I like it, though. It's very rectangular, but it looks really cool. It's just kind of like a tucked away little little nook that, um, you know, suits suits the theme to me very, very well. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to hang a left and we're just going to go down this path. Now, as you can see, once again, there's multiple pathways to get you through the city. You can go this way, which brings you back towards the uh, where we started. And then we're going to hop up here and uh, show you the last house in just a second. But you can see, once again, it's very cluttered. It's very busy, you know, uh, and I just really like the way that it came out. Uh, let me know if you have any tips or tricks to make it a little bit more lively or make it look better in the comments. I'd love to hear y'all's point of views and you know, uh, and to improve on my building skills through y'all. Um, here, once again, we have the kitchen, then we have the dining area. And you see a lot of people in Aisling are educated. They have lots of books and stuff like that, and that is for good reason. In the lore, um, Feyfret, which was their original city, um, they were good, but they were more just kind of like do good unto others and you know other people will do good unto you they were very naive uh very uneducated in that way so whenever they had to leave their land due to the blight um they had to educate themselves in the way of war in the you know battle tactics and just normal studies and education that make them more of a force to be reckoned with and not just a naive city that just takes their blessings where they have them and doesn't count on anything else. Uh, and that lore will be coming out as soon as I'm done writing it. I'm about halfway through and it will be published on World, World Anvil um, whenever it's all said and done. So that's the walkthrough. Like I said, I know I talked the whole time. Hope you didn't mind it. But here is a little flyover uh, here. And you can kind of see the area and see how much it's grown and how large it is. I mean, these buildings look massive from the street view uh when you go up high they don't really look that large but um, i'm really happy with the way it turned out i think it came out great um and it was just really exciting and fun to build this entire thing so once again i hope you all enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the walkthrough we're gonna get on with a song or something else on the next episode but either way we're gonna have a great time uh thank you all for tuning in y'all are absolutely wonderful if you haven't already click that subscribe button share this video but this is the legendary porpoise signing off i hope you have a good day and happy gaming.